Hi everybody, this article is from the SouthAfrican.com. Ramaphosa makes it rain, 290 billion investment secured for South Africa. Okay, well, let's have a look, see what's going on here. They had some kind of a conference, investment conference held at the Santon Convention Center, and a lot of people, um, uh, 1,050 delegates in attendance from all these different um, companies in different um, industries and so on, pharmaceuticals. Okay, among the investors were Sunrail, who pledged this amount, 40 billion from Namsa, Aspen, Vodacom, Aquapower, 9.6 billion, and 29 billion from the New Development Bank. Just quickly, so we can have a look. Um, Sunrail is South African National Peristatal. Okay, so I wonder how much of the money that they're going to invest is going to land up in Ramaphosa's pocket or one of his Mikeys. And NAMSA, 22 companies involved in the production of cars and commercial vehicles, um, which businesses collectively employ about 30,000 people. Okay, well, great. Hopefully that's going to increase. But again, um, I just wonder what the under table deals are going to be with this. And if the poor people of South Africa are just going to suffer again and get basically zero out of this. Aspen Pharmacare, a multinational South African holding company for pharmaceutical concerns with the largest and the largest drug company in Africa. Well, you can just imagine the way Big Pharma is and um, the kind of deals that they will strike. Um, and now Vodacom. Vodacom is owned by this um, company called Vodacom PDY. Okay, I'm a little confused here. Vodacom Group Member Companies. Okay, this is not what I'm looking for. All right, this is what I'm looking for. Sorry. Um, Vodacom Group. Okay, this is how it's owned. 64.5% Vodafone Investment South Africa PTY. So this is a private company. Basically, no executives or anything are, are really active or publicly um, known or made known. To the, to the public or the media. That's what I read somewhere else. And these are the smaller shareholdings here. And I'm just wondering, um, I think Vodafone in the UK owns probably the greater percentage of this. I'm wondering how much of this is owned by other people and who they are. But of course, being a private company, we won't really know. Um, it's possible that Ramaphosa even owns something in here. Or the South African government might have shares in this particular subsidiary. Okay, and then Aquapower is another one of the investors. Portfolio of power generation and desalination water production plants currently with the presence of ten, in 10 countries, obviously in South Africa as well, Southern Africa. You can just imagine the scope for tenders and for um, slice of the cake sharing there. And the New Development Bank, it used to be called the BRICS Bank, Okay, well, who knows what's going on there. But at any rate, our biggest concern is that, um, but the proof is in the pudding, said Ramaphosa, who told the conference that government would track the impact of investments and their ability to maximize on job creation. My concern is, when you started this whole thing, okay, this, this forum or whatever, this meeting of investors, why didn't you ask them all to first, to first submit their job creation proposals, which you would then make them sign and hold to in, in terms of how much how many jobs they're actually cr going to create. Because now you've got all this money being poured into God knows where in the government and who's getting what slice of what cake and who's really concentrating on the poor guy in the street who needs a job. Okay, so this is really what bugs the hell out of me. And I really hope these guys are going to do well by this.